Okay, this is a ornate chorus frog, or Pseudacris ornata, and uh, I guess they're fairly common here in Florida. I don't know too much about their history here, but I know in North Carolina they're declining in most of their areas, so it's a very special frog for me to see, even though it's one of the more the drab color phases, but they still are fairly variable in coloration. Some are green, so I, I don't know what other colors they got, tan. Silver. silver color. This one's more like a silvery brown. Such a beautiful frog, and I've just had such bad luck trying to find these. Got it right there. You're so beautiful. So yeah, we're out here in a longleaf pine savanna, surrounding uh, well, a drift fence surrounding a see if I can... uh, isolated infertile pond, and it rained tonight, which is like one of the first rains in a while. So I'm out here helping. I just volunteering with the, uh, I don't know what group you guys are, Virginia? Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech Wildlife Resources Virginia. Commission. Something like that. But he's got a little ornate chorus frog. Such beautiful little frogs. are have a very similar call to a spring peaver. Um, but doesn't ascend like a spring peeper. It's one note. Very loud. So very special find for tonight for me. And I'm sure for everyone else. So. Hello. So a, this is kind of typical with most frogs and males is that males have a throater or a, a darker throat patch. And uh, this is obviously a male. So hopefully he'll find him a female tonight.